Hey everyone, today we are starting a new 100% walkthrough for Ancestors The Humankind Odyssey. We're going to be checking out everything this game has to offer and picking up all of the trophies. So for those of you that may not be aware, this game was chosen by my Patreon supporters, just like all the games I play on this channel. So if you like what I'm doing here and you'd like to throw in some support yourself, you can click the link on the screen or down in the description below, become a patron, and vote on the games I cover in the future. So, let's get this started. Alright, so we are going to start a new lineage. I originally thought the lineage name was the species name, that is not the case, so I'm just gonna name my lineage Lasser, I suppose. When I thought it was the species name, I named it Homo Collectus, which I thought was appropriate. Alright, so we're gonna confirm that. And for game mode, we only have one option, and that is first time. Explore, expand, and evolve by experiencing what our oldest ancestors had to face. And then for player help, I'm going to put that on total, which is full HUD and full tutorial. This game has a lot of things that are difficult to figure out, and you're going to want all of the information available, or at least I do. So we're going to go with total. And then gender, it honestly doesn't matter. I'm just going to go with random. All right, so we're going to start out in the settlement Hidden Waterfall Oasis. We're going to start out as female, and our clan size is medium. Our species is apparently unknown. Inspired by true events. The world and characters you will encounter are meant to represent archetypes of a place and of a moment, not the exact depiction of what happened. Latest scientific discoveries were used as guidelines. This adventure was made by Panache Digital Games, which is composed of those people. With the help of other people. In the following hours, you will relive the challenges of the dawn of humanity. Embark into the never-ending odyssey of human progression on this planet. Use your body, senses, mind, and voice to guide your voyages. Gain strength in numbers and advance the species. Survive the elements, teach your family, build a home. Good luck. We won't help you much. And remember, evolution is not set in stone, it is your path to forge.
All right, well, member of our clan got beat up. Regain safety in a hiding spot or in your clan's settlement. Intelligence. Tap triangle to use your intelligence. Use to identify a hiding spot, your clan settlement, or other practical items. All right, so we will use the intelligence. Intelligence, don't move to stay in intelligence. Look around with the right stick to highlight a point of interest, then follow the steps displayed on the contextual UI. All right, so we will check out that, and we will focus on it by holding triangle, and identify it, it is a hiding spot. And we can memorize that so it stays on our HUD. Uh, intelligence, the location of anything you have, a, have identified can be memorized, which we just did. Uh, intelligence can also be used to discover practical items and to visualize the things you have identified. Okay, so, oh, sense of hearing. Don't move to stay in the senses. This is the representation of the sounds within range. Look around with the right stick to target a sound, then follow the steps displayed on the contextual UI. All right, so we're looking around, and there's actually nothing making sound in distance. All right, so anyways, we have that hiding spot to get to. You can see we're terrified, all these images of various animals trying to eat us are popping up. Poor little guy's all scared. Hopefully nothing decides to mess with us. We are very young and not capable of defending ourselves All right, so here we are we can hide inside with X New objective find the lost child of your clan. So now we're an adult female so we gotta figure out where that kid was. Sprint and jump. Move in the direction you want. Hold X to sprint. Release X to jump. Like so. To cancel jump, stop moving before releasing X. I actually hate that, but that's how it works. All right, clan, I gotta go find the little monkey. The little ape, I guess. Well, I guess he's not even an ape at this point. I have to go find the little one. All right, so I'm gonna use my intelligence. Let's see if we can find him. I don't know exactly where he is. It's that. Oh, and growing neuron intelligence. That I'll cover in more detail later, but basically as you do things, you gain neurons, which can then be used for various upgrades. All right, so we're gonna memorize this. I don't know what it is. We're gonna head to it, unless it's really far away, which it kind of is. Senses, tap square to use your senses to help you locate any member of your clan. All right, well, let's go ahead and do that, senses. Oh, actually, that might be him down there. All right, we're gonna focus on that. And yep, that is the kid. Join and comfort the lost child. All right, we just gotta get down. Oh, and growing neuron for senses. Now when you jump onto climbable things, you'll just automatically start climbing. Grabbing foliage and creepers. Jump, then hold X to grab the foliage or the creepers when passing through it. Trunks, branches, and rock walls are grabbed automatically. All right, I guess I could show you trying to grab stuff. I'm actually horrible at navigating this forest, but I'll try right here. So you can like, ah, oh, crap. Well, yeah, I'll show you later because I'm just gonna hurt myself. And I want to save this kid. Oh, and I didn't focus on him, did I? I did not memorize. Memorize, please. Okay. Even though he's right there. Comforting kid. Tap circle, then wait for the answers to progressively comfort the kid. Lower the temperature. Take the time to listen. All right, so press circle. Wait, comfort.
New objective, join your clan in your settlement. All right. Well, we were just there, so just have to get back. And growing neuron for communication. Very nice. All right, I'm gonna... I guess I could climb up this way. This looks like it'll work. Yeah, because I can grab that branch and head over. Oh, and if you want to help getting back to your clan, you can use your intelligence. And uh, you can focus on that symbol right there, which is the current clan settlement. New objective, build a sleep spot. And we got the trophy, a real hero for getting the kid back to the sun. Avatar's vitality. Life expectancy is the red circle that you currently can't see because it's all filled with green. Uh, reduces by poisonings, injuries, and exhaustion. Limited by Avatar's age. Then we have stamina, which is yellow, which you also can't see at the moment because it's all green. Reduces by the intensity of your actions. Refills by eating, drinking, and sleeping. Limited by life expectancy. And then we have energy, which we can see. Reduces by your actions. Refills automatically. Limited by stamina level. Avatar's vitality. Uh, updates after sleeping for one hour or more. Hinges on a healthy lifestyle. Alrighty. Oh, contextual actions. Stop moving to see all the contextual actions offered. They vary depending on your situation. So like right now, I can lie down, I can use my senses, I can use my intelligence, or I can call. Alright, so we need to build. But before we do that, let's take a look around at some stuff. So like we can... Oh, actually this works out perfectly. So I can examine this thingy. Let's go see what it is. Inspecting items. Hold square to inspect any item you have in the right hand. New, uh, new tool discovered. Natal grass cycade. Which I probably just murdered. So anyways, we are actually going to need these. So let's come over here. And like I said, the game just doesn't really explain things to you. You have to figure it out. So I've already figured this out. Go ahead and take that grass and drop it. Uh, stockpiles. When already discovered, dropped items can be stockpiled with identical items. All right. So that was a small clue. So we want some more of these things, although I can't seem to grab those. Where can I grab it? Oh, there it is. All right, so grab that. Add that to the stockpile. You have to be pointed at it, and then the contextual menu will say add to pile. Construction. Some items can lead to construction possibilities when in a stockpile, depending on their number. All right, so we want some more of these things. Add that to the pile. And here is another one. It's being stubborn. Oh, I grabbed something else. Well, let's inspect this. New, uh, new tool discovery, a dead branch. 
Now, uh, from what I've experienced so far, you can use this as a weapon. Um, but I assume it has more uses than that. For now, I don't need it, so we're just gonna drop it. Um, now, notice one thing. For things that we know, if we inspect those, it pops up with an icon indicating it's that particular thing. Same with the grass. But other things that we don't know won't pop up. They'll come up as question marks. All right, so add to the pile. And now we can start construction with triangle. And our version of building is jumping on it. Let's press that over and over again. And there we go, we've made a sleep spot. When built, a sleep spot is the basis of every settlement. Tap X to lie down on a sleep spot. And we discovered a new action, building. Various constructions can improve your settlement. We have a new objective, form a couple. All right, so, let's see. I don't know my status, am I? I am single and I'm also fertile. So, I need to couple with a male that is not already coupled. Active adults, grooming to form a couple with an adult is the only way to mate and eventually give birth. All right, so what about you, buddy? You single? Huh? That's a female. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, okay. Who else do we have? What about you? You're definitely a male. And you are also single. I will groom you. Alright, the grooming took me a while to figure out. So, hold circle. You're gonna hear those little click sounds when you hear one, release the circle button immediately. And your bonding will go up. Couple formed. Identify the jungle's hidden waterfall oasis. All right, well, before I do that, because I have a fertile female, it is beneficial for me to get her pregnant. So we are going to go over here, lie down, and we are going to get the child out of here because, you know, they shouldn't see this, although they're going to see it. Hey, we have a baby with spontaneous genetic mutation metabolism. Interesting. Well, let me show you what that is before I do the, uh, the naughty stuff. Alright, so we have evolution. Help Neuronal. Uh, assign Neuronal energy to connect neurons and develop your lineage's capacities. Grow the neurons you want when they're mature enough to receive energy. Neuronal energy is accumulated by doing actions when kids are around. A neuron will lose its energy at the passing of a generation if it hasn't been locked by a reinforcement. We'll go over reinforcements later. Oh, and then it has that nice little uh, graph on the side. Neuronal, connect neurons to develop lineage's capacities. Generation, reinforce new capacities by the passing of generations. And then there's evolution, progress through errors faster than what science suggests. All right, so under Neuronal, we currently can't get anything because we don't have enough energy to... Um, to light up one of these nodes, so we're gonna have to wait on that. However, I did come in to show you this. So, we have a baby genetic potential of metabolism. Na, which is one of the kids, has an increased capacity to metabolize food. This spontaneous genetic mutation will be defined once Na reaches adulthood. So, that little guy is very important that we get him to adulthood, so then he can uh, develop that node. All right, so we want to get this particular person, uh, this particular female, uh, pregnant. So we're going to call the maid over. You saw earlier that we are uh, fertile. Uh, matured neuron communication. All right, so he should be coming over. There he is. All right, and hold circle to mate. New pregnancy! 
Now, we could give birth. That would fast forward time by quite a bit. I think these particular creatures take 15 months to have a birth, but uh, we're going to wait on that. There's no rush. All right, so what do we want to do now? Well, let's leave her in a safe area. We don't want to risk this particular uh, female. So we are going to analyze this male, Wa, and we are going to switch to him with X. And now we have control. Now, let's see, we got this. Oh, neuronal energy. Having children nearby allows the accumulation of neuronal energy. More children around means increased accumulation. All right, so we have spontaneous genetic mutation. A newborn brought a new neuronal potential. Kids with new potentials must reach adulthood to reveal the nature of the mutation in the neuronal network. All right, so this is the little guy who has the potential. You can see it there at the bottom. So we want to keep him out of harm's way. We just want him to get to adulthood. However, there should be another kid that does not have that potential, and we want to bring him with us so he could potentially learn some stuff. Plus, we want kids around us in general when we're doing activities, because that's how we progress the species. So, this little guy over here. We analyze him. That is Gak, and yes, he has no potential at the moment, but we're working on that. So, let's go ahead and have him piggyback on us by pressing circle. All right, uh, the next thing you wanted me to do, let me see, press up on the D-pad if you forget your objective. Identify the jungle's hidden waterfall oasis. We're already here. But what it wants us to do is open our intelligence, look up there at the question mark, and hold down triangle to discover. New landmark discovery, the hidden waterfall oasis. New objective, inspect a meteorite. So we just saw those meteorites crash down, and one of them should be viewable. Let's see, we also got the evolution feat, jungle master explorer for discovering the oasis. And we got a matured neuron, intelligence. All right, so where that smoke is coming from, that's where the meteorite landed, that's where we need to go. However, we haven't done much yet. Oh, ooh, look below. What is that? It's a dead hominid. Oh no, one of our friends. Oh, I think that's the one that died in the intro. Let's see, what else is over there? Well, just him. All right, well, we should probably go see if we could get those eggs. Let's see, jump down this way. Emotions and dopamine. A mode of state varies according to situations, affects pace and actions, that's our eyeball. And the dopamine level tempers fear, we're filled by doing gratifying activities. And that's the bar around it. Alright. Grab this branch. Now we do want to be careful. We saw what happened to him when he tried to take those eggs. Take a look around, I don't see any nasty birds. Doesn't mean they're not around. I'm gonna grab this, inspect it. Oh, crap, it's coming in. Dodging attacks, hold X to prime dodging, move to choose direction, release X at the right time. 
and we'll dodge out of the way. Oh god, it's coming after me. Intimidation power. Hold circle to intimidate a threat when your emotive state is alert. Aggressors are intimidated by the perceived size of yourself or your group. So with, uh, I don't think it would have worked on that bird, but for example, if uh, it was a less scary creature, I could have used intimidate on it, which is in the contextual menu, and tried to scare it off. But I'm by myself, so that's probably not going to work. The best way to use that is when you have other clan members with you. Um, but we're off exploring by ourselves at the moment. Alright, so I think I dropped the egg, which is smart. Oh, crap. Uh, grab that. Ow. Oh, I managed to grab it. Nice. Swinging and jumping in foliage. Stop moving before releasing X to cancel jump. Move to swing, hold X to prime jump, and release X to jump. So, we can... Whoops. See, I'm terrible at the swinging. I need to learn how to do it better. There we go. Yeah, I just suck at doing it when I'm, like, trying to go quickly. Alright, well... Let's see, I kind of actually want to go back to the settlement, because there's lots of stuff we haven't done around there. Things we haven't inspected, and... We also haven't, um... Upgraded any of our, uh... I guess, uh... Evolution nodes? I don't know what to call them. The neuronal things. So, we're back here. Let me see if anything is available now, because we had some neurons mature. I guess uh, it would be expanding our neurons. Alright, so we're going to lie down, and evolution. There we go. Well, we got options now. So, matured neuron for communication. Neuronal growth is complete. Assign neuronal energy to initiate a new communication skill. Now, the neuronal energy is the big bright circle in the middle. That is the resource that you're depleting to fill up these nodes. New learned ability, Kinesics, I think. The ability to gather all clan members is acquired. Hold circle to gather all clan members and have them follow you. Okay, that is a useful skill. And then over here, we have a matured neuron for intelligence. Memory. The range for detection of non-edible resources is increased. Tap triangle to use your enhanced intelligence, then follow the steps proposed by the contextual actions you want. Alright, so we got those two. New nodes have become available, but we'll need to light those up and then have enough energy to unlock them. <laughs> All right, so I may as well show you our new gather ability. So if I just hold circle for clan's call, everyone in range will now be following me. And then we have our clan. Um, so dots with links represent who are following you. So you can see three of the dots have links to the center. That means they're following me. Actually, five of them do. Two of the children and three of the adults. Outside... Oh, and uh, I missed that, but I assumed it said outside of that outer circle is any of the members of the clan that have left the settlement. So right now, everyone's in the settlement, including myself. Now, if you're tired of having people follow you, you can analyze them. Or no, that's not it. He's not actually following. We can tell them to wait here and then they'll stop following. But also, something you could do is just go to a uh, sleeping spot and hit end expedition. And they all go back to whatever they were doing. All right, uh, so yeah, let's take a look around a little bit more. Oh, notice also if you highlight the grass, you can see it makes a sleeping spot, but it's also used for something else, which is currently unknown. Oh, and we got a matured neuron for intelligence. Alright, what is this over here? <laughs> Unknown. Well, let's go check it out. <laughs> New gathering spot discovery. It's a fishing spot. 
So, apparently we can catch fish here. However, I have not yet figured out how to do that. So, that is something for me to eventually discover. Now, whether that's... That's because my species can't do it yet, or because I just haven't figured it out, I don't know. What do we have here? New tool discovery, granite rock. I don't know anything that I can do with the granite rock, so I'll just drop it for now. Something else there. Oh, never mind. It's granite rock. It's good to... Oh, senses. Tap X to stand up and increase the range of your senses. So, if... If you wanted to increase the range, you could go into intelligence and then stand up. Oh, and we got a matured neuron for motricity. And then the range of things that I can check out is increased. You can see that dead hominid still over there. What's that over there? Dead branch. Oh, I think it's actually looking through the wall. All right. What else do we have around here? Dead branch. These over here, I have never figured out. It's some sort of bramble. I would presume that we can do something with it at some point, but I can't even inspect it. I would imagine, like, maybe, like, burn it away or... I don't know. Burn it away is the only idea I have at the moment, but that does not work. Alright, so let's try another sense. Because I'm just using intelligence now. Let's do smelling with square. You can see like little patches of smells pop up. Let's check out this one right here. Matured neuron for senses. So let's see what this is. Inspect. New food discovery for Tommy Berry. We can go ahead and eat that. Adaptable metabolism. Uh, assimilated nutrients from the berry kind of food. Nice. May as well eat one more. Cat. What else can we smell? We can smell this. Which is also unknown. New food discovery, horsetail. Let's eat that. Adaptable metabolism, assimilated nutrients from the vegetable kind of food. Or vegetal, actually. And notice when we ate that, we got a little buff thing on the bottom left. I believe that is resistance to broken bones. So it's probably beneficial for us to munch on a few more of these. I don't like breaking my bones. Okay. What else can smell pick up? We got something here. That's a more horse tail. But there's something right here. Alright. So we can scoop the water and inspect it. New food discovery, fresh water source. All right, and we can drink up. Drink, eat, sleep. Your stamina level depends on the way you drink, eat, and sleep over a 24 hours period. Your body will reset your needs after each sleeping period. All right, so very important to sleep, eat, and drink. Keep that life expectancy up. Keep yourself healthy. All right, what else do we have? Alright, we will take this. New food discovery, African agaric fungus. Alright, eat this. Oh, and that was bad. 
We've got some sort of stomach angerment. All right. So, I don't want to eat this. Drop that. Hopefully nobody else eats it. Let's go check in on the neural capabilities. On the evolution. Alright, we've got new nodes available. So, what do we have here? Matured neuron for motricity. Motor skill. The ability to switch hands with an item is acquired. Tap L1 to switch hands with an item. New potential nodes out there. Quite a few. And what do we have here? Neural growth for senses. Perception. The range for detection of odors and sounds is slightly increased. Tap square to use your senses, then follow the, th follow the steps proposed by the contextual actions you want. All right. And it looks like I might actually have enough neural energy to go out here. All right, we'll find out. You can see it reaching out to it. And we've got enough, fantastic. Spatial perception. The range for detection of non-edible resources is increased. All right, now what we wanna do is sleep because it's both good for me and it'll get rid of this stomach discomfort. So just hold down X. You can see the time flying by on the top. And there we go. All right, so daily regimen update. You can see we're mediocre on food, mediocre on sleep, but water is an issue, so we need to go drink. All right, and also when you do actions, typically the clan will follow you. So, good that they're all doing the same. All right, I can't remember. Is there anything else in this area I might care about? What's this over here? That we know, berries, that should be the same. Although it's still good to identify them because regardless, you are going to get um, progress for it. Matured neuron. I actually just sensed the shroom I already knew about. That's interesting. What is that over there? Oh, that's one of the uh, members of the clan. Oh, we've got something unknown up there. Let's go check it out. Should be able to climb up here. What the heck do we have? <laughs> New food discovery, that would be caught. Go ahead and eat it. And you can see it gave us bone breaking resistance and also that other one is weather resistance. So the elements will not affect us as badly. I don't need to eat that much, drop that. All right, what else we got? Something up there. Unknown. Interesting, let's go check it out. What do we have right there? Hmm. Bee nest. All right, we can inspect that. I would assume we would want to break this, like maybe with a rock or something. Anyways, it's a beehive. I'll have to mess with that later. I've never uh, done anything successful with a beehive, but I would like to get the honey inside, I imagine. So what was up here? Oh. 
New food discovery, Coco's. Oh, and I can shake it, apparently? Oh, I can shake the tree branch, I didn't realize that. Well, I just learned something new. All right, so I've got this cocoa. I can't eat it because it's in the shell. I originally thought, well, let me just grab a piece of granite and break it open, but that just ruins it. But I may as well show you because it's good for showing how to switch hands and alter stuff. So I can switch hands without one. Altering and crafting. Once in the left hand, some items may be altered with bare hands or crafted. All right, so I can hold, whoop, altering and crafting, hold out one to take position to alter a craft. All right, so I can hold out one. Altering and crafting, hold R1 to prepare to alter or craft, release R1 to use the right strength. Oh, I never actually realized it was a strength thing. So maybe I just did it uh, with too much strength before. Interesting. All right, so maybe I can get in this, let's see. So hold R1. Oh, and it has a click. Oh, sweet, I just figured something out. All right, well, this is something I didn't know. All right, matured neuron for dexterity. Fantastic. And can I eat it now? Nope, still can't. Oh, actually, hold on. Let me switch hands. Nope, still can't eat it. Gotta do more work. All right, so alter. Like I said, this game does not teach you how to do things. Or at least not in a easy to understand way. So we got inside. Let me switch hands. And I still can't eat it. What the heck? All right. Guess it needs more work. Looks like it's out though. There we go. Discover new alteration stripping. Cocos can be modified. Fantastic. And then switch hands. Inspect. New food discovery. Coconut. Oh, I still can't. I still can't eat it, huh? Well, perhaps if we bash it open? All right, so let me um, switch hands. All right, there's something over here I haven't shown you guys. All right, so grab this. Oh, I am getting tired, you can see. Yeah, yeah, we'll get to it in a bit. All right, so inspect. New tool discovery, that would be obsidian. All right, so I'm gonna break open this coconut with the obsidian, hopefully. We'll see. Oh no, I destroyed it. Ah, crap. All right, well, I'm learning new stuff, which is exciting. So I think I can get another, yeah, there's another coconut up there. Perhaps I can break it with the appropriate amount of strength. Oh, and is that? Yeah, that's the granite. Okay, good. All right, so let's alter this. We know we can get inside. Got that. Now I want to pick up this and hopefully I don't destroy it. Heck yeah! Discover new alteration hitting. A granite rock can alter a coconut. Alright, so drop the rock, switch hands, inspect. New food discovery, opened coconut, and I can finally eat it. So much work. It's a lot of food though, that's good. All right, oh, still haven't finished. Oh my God, all right, well, we got a whole meal here. I will eventually get through this thing. 
Adaptable metabolism, assimilated nutrients from the cotyledon kind of food. I know I said that wrong. Alright, I know that my guy needs sleep. So, let's get him some sleep. Alright, sleep. We'll sleep till noon. So we should be good on food. Water, I might need to drink some more. Oh, actually, we're pretty good on all of the above. Oh, and I should see if there's any uh, evolution available. Ooh, there is. All right, so what do we got over here? Senses. Olfaction. The range for detection of the source of an odor is increased. Cool. Alright, and then over here... Dexterity. The ability to switch an item from one hand to the other while moving is acquired. Oh, nice! That doesn't sound like much, but it actually is. Oh, and I can keep going this way. If I have enough energy, I'm not sure. Oh no, it didn't quite make it. All right, we need more. All right, well, since I figured out the coconut thing, now I kind of want to figure out the bee thing. I'm thinking dead branch. So let me go grab this branch. I'll take that up and see if we can like knock it down or something. Or maybe like throw a rock at it? Not quite sure. We're gonna experiment. Alright. So can I do anything to it? Can inspect. That just inspects my branch. That'll help. If I go above it, I can knock it down. Ah, crap. Well, that's hurting me. Nope, 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 nope. All right. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what to do with those. Uh, with those bees. All right. So I think I explored just about everything else near here. That's just another person in the uh, clan. What's that over there? Oh, another uh, person in the clan. Apparently they all smell. All right, so let me drop my stick. I said drop the stick. Uh, let me go ahead and get a save. The only way I found how to save is to open up the evolution screen. And you don't even have to do anything in here. You can just leave. And there we go. We got a save. All right. So, we made some good progress. I actually learned some new things, which is very exciting. I There's tons of things for me to learn in this game. Um, so, it's nice to just chip away at my lack of knowledge a little bit at a time. So, anyways, we're going to wrap things up right here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.